I have presents stuffed underneath the tree. This is difficult. I'm just gonna eat this anyway. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Our Family Nest. So today I am on the home stretch of finally being done with wrapping our Christmas presents. And I have to say, other than whatever gifts that Ken got me, I have wrapped everything on my own this year. Usually Ken helps me, but he has been so busy with stuff with his dad that I've been doing it all on my own. And when I'm done here, I'm gonna show you guys how many Christmas presents I have wrapped. It's insane, and I can't believe that it's probably been about two plus weeks of me wrapping presents. Not every day, but it just sort of feels like it's been never ending. Pretty much as packages have been coming in the mail, I bring them here in the bedroom and uh, wrap them a little bit at a time so it doesn't seem overwhelming. I usually find a podcast to listen to and uh, get wrapping away. So I did want to show you guys if you haven't wrapped all of your Christmas presents yet, there is a big difference between wrapping a present like this. See, look at this close up. See how it's kind of like puffy, no really creases or anything. If you really want your presents to look nice, what you need to do when you wrap is crease your paper on the seams of all of your boxes. It just, you wouldn't think that it would make a difference, but it really, really does. So I'm gonna do that on this one and I'll show you guys. You may not be able to tell through a camera because visually, you know, we're not like, you'd have to have it in your hands. So yeah, like you wanna do, this box isn't in the greatest shape. We reuse our boxes every year try to sometimes the kids will ruin some of them when they're opening them but we usually try to keep all of them so we don't have to keep wasting and getting more boxes every year so then even when you're wrapping like this you really really want to do like tight press down creases and it just really makes a difference and then on our name tags, we literally just write like to Blake from Daisy. Like we write just random, like none of them really make any sense. I think there was one thing that I wrapped for Carly this year that I put from dad. She probably won't even notice it when she unwraps it and I'll probably forget to point it out. But other than that, they're just random made up. I don't know, can you tell the difference? Can you tell how nice that looks with creased paper? Call me crazy. I can actually wrap a present pretty fast. Let me show you if I wasn't gonna, if I'm not gonna crease this one, how fast I can do this. All right, now everything's gonna start falling apart. I usually go like that and fold it, but don't tape it. It's easier, in my opinion, to have it facing up like that. Tape. Tape. Flip it over. Refold it down. Tape. Tape. Done. If you guys have seen any of the memes, where it says um, Christmas morning is not only going to be a surprise to our kids, but also to my husband. Because basically, I think he was only with me one time when we were picking out things for the kids when we went to Target. It's going to be fun Christmas morning for him too. And I do sort of think in a way, I went a little overboard this year, but it was like there was things the kids asked for. Like mostly clothes and stuff like that. And then there were things that maybe they sort of mentioned that they want that are like things that you can do something with it. You know what I mean? Like I like them to have a present that they can open and actually like 
do a puzzle or whatever. I'm just, I didn't get him a puzzle. I'm just using it as an example. Like I should have already been done shopping, but I'm like, but they need something to play with. So here's everything I wrapped today. I got all this done in probably about, about an hour. Cause I got through one podcast episode that was uh, 50 minutes. Now let me show you all the presents under the two trees because we have the one tree that is for Christmas morning and then we have the other tree that is for the sibling gift exchange and um, like our presents to Asha and Corey. So here's tree number one. A lot of littler presents underneath. So here's our tree in the family room. I have presents stuffed underneath the tree. I even have one balancing in the windowsill and then they're just stacked so high because I'm running out of room. All right guys, here we go again, filming in the kitchen with our beautiful backdrop. And we just found out the other day that the uh, hood that we ordered is not going to be in until March. So it's gonna look like this for a while. So right now we're about to make Christmas cookies and the Notre Dame game is on. We have Chase, we have Asha, we have Ken's dad. Ken's out there. Not in such a great mood because Notre Dame is losing right now. And uh, Carly should be coming down shortly, but right now I'm just gonna get started on making the dough. I'm making it from scratch, and I will put the recipe down in the description for you guys. Probably by the time you watch this, you probably I'm trying to think, when will this post? It'll probably be too late for you to make these Christmas cookies because I think it's gonna post like two days before Christmas, but who knows, maybe you'll be making Christmas cookies on Christmas Eve. It's a really good recipe, I've used it before. And um, here we go. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. All right, so the dough is made, and now the girls are rolling it out to do the cutouts. Um, I mean, I've done like cool. Okay, maybe the stocking one. I right? just did. Okay. Stocking. Well, this is a glove. This is, oh, this. Stocking. All right, so now we're making our frosting colors. So I got this. Uh, food coloring kit it's off true. of Amazon. 24 different colors. And there's some pretty cool colors in here. I knew we would need Check more. them out. I'll link this down below Look. for you guys. Now we're decorating. Yeah. Carly's watching Gus of Pearl. But I think you know your father well enough to believe that he was capable of deliberately taking a life. I hope your stepmother and yours were high in jail. There's one for Ashley and his friends so far. This is difficult. I'm just gonna eat this anyway. <laughs> Wait, does gingerbread men have three buttons? Yeah. So guys, we are all done decorating. No, no. Carly and Asha did all of these. I did all of those and Asha did most of those over there. I just did that green cap. I filled in all the brown ones. They're kind of plain and ugly. Carly tried to decorate them up a little bit. Yeah, because they're already dry, so I just put little things on she's it. She's finishing up the last mitten right now. All I'm gonna do is just put sprinkles on it. Which one's your favorite one? Out of all these? Yours. Um, the snowflake or the kitty? I like this one. Oh, this one turned out cute too. I like this one, that one. I like this one that I just made is cute. The mitten. Yep. Let's put that right here. 
<laughs> All right, and then these are the ones. I just made this too. I like that one. That one's really cute. That mitten and the Christmas tree. You did what one? The kitty? <laughs> you should have smoothed him out. No, I liked it. Oh, uh, is he supposed to look furry? No, it's just messy. So, we're all done. That took forever. Three hours. Back hurt? Yeah. No. <laughs> so, while they've been decorating cookies, I've been kind of cleaning. I just like clean, took apart the stove, when cleaning the stove. Cleaning up just little things around the kitchen, so now we gotta clean up this mess. And then I can head to bed. It's only 9.30 and I can watch a couple more episodes of Queen's Gambit because I'm on episode number four and it's really, really good. So thanks guys for watching today. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.